Welcome to our Matera tutorial series. In this short video, we will walk you through the steps of performing a spin magnetic band structure calculation using Quantum Espresso. Performing a material simulation involves following steps in our web platform. First, we need to specify the material system by creating or uploading a material structure. Second, we have to specify the workflow steps. These two steps can be carried out in any order. You may either create the structure first and then workflow or the other way around. Note that you may skip the above steps if you already have the required structure or workflow in your library. You may also find the structure and workflow you are looking for in our extensive materials and workflows banks, respectively. Finally, we need to create and submit job where we can specify the materials system, the workflow steps, and compute parameters as suitable for a specific calculation. For today's demonstration, we will generate the material structure using Materials Designer in our web platform. Navigate to Materials tab. Click Create. We will clone the existing structure and then modify. Let's create iron oxide with cubic structure. Set the lattice constant. Set the atomic positions. There are two iron and two oxygen atoms in each unit cell. Notice that we have added label 1 and 2 to two iron atoms, so that we can specify different spin states to them in antiferromagnetic spin calculation. Finally, save the structure. Now we are ready to create the workflow. Navigate to Workflows tab and click Create New Workflow. Let's rename our workflow to Spin Magnetic. We are going to use the latest version of Quantum Espresso with GNU Build. Click Edit Workflow Unit. Expand the Details pane. There are several magnetic templates available. For simplicity, we will use the PWSCF magnetic template, but you could select the templates for DFT plus U or DFT plus U plus V or J templates if you need it. Close the unit modal. Next, we need to perform the bands calculation so we add a new unit for that. Here, we select the PW Bands Magnetic Template. Finally, we need to do the post-processing of bands obtained in the above steps, add another unit. This time select Bands.x executable. We would like to process one type of spin at a time, that is, either upspin or downspin, Let's set the spin component equal to 1 for upspin. Rename the fill band's file name and the unit names accordingly. The same way, we add another unit to process the downspin component. Set the spin component equal to 2 for that. Save and exit the workflow. Navigate to Jobs tab. Click Create New Job. Import Materials and select Iron Oxide. Import Workflow and select Spin Magnetic that we just created. Navigate to Important Settings tab. We want to perform antiferromagnetic spin calculation. For that we would like to set the starting magnetization for FE1 site to minus 1 and FE2 site to plus 1. We have to do the same for both SCF and BANDS units, however. Note that the starting magnetization may not be read for BANDS calculation. Please refer to the Quantum Espresso documentation for more details. If you need to adjust the compute parameters, you may do so in the Compute tab, Save and Exit the Job Designer. Now we are ready to submit our job. Click the Play button and wait for the job to complete. Once finished, Let's navigate to the Results tab. We will see separate plots for both up and down spin components of band structure. We can zoom in to see the bands near the Fermi energy more clearly. Of course, if you need to do further analysis, you can find all output files under the Results tab. You can use a Jupyter Notebook session in our platform, or download the files in your local computer for further analysis. Now, Visit platform.matera.com to explore more yourself. Thank you for watching this tutorial.